Now let us try and analyze this very strange thing that's happening in Narok, which would suggest uh, how the, the side the Rift Valley is swinging towards. Yeah, And uh, of course, as I said in part one of this uh, recording, it is CCM Chama Chama Shinani. Yeah? Now the main person behind that uh, party is Isaac Ruto. Isaac Ruto the, is of course the current governor of Bomet. He's defending his seat in Bomet. And he's also the fifth uh, principal of NASA. Yeah? He suddenly, to the shock of everybody, at the last minute, recently, just announced that he's with NASA. Of course he has been very accommodating to NASA. Uh, he, he welcomed NASA for a major rally in his uh, backyard when he had not yet uh, told everybody of his intentions. But insiders are telling me and people on the ground that it was always his intention, but he's a man of timing. Yeah, We also know, if you have looked at my past recordings, that before he crossed over, he consulted widely. Yeah, And uh, knowing Isaac Ruto, you know, there are some people who can come and say, oh, you know, I consulted widely, widely. Well, actually, they sat with their wives or they sat with themselves. With the, they sat three people. Eh? Me, myself, and I. You know, those are three people. And then they decide. And they come and tell you after consultations, very wide consultations, talking to many people. <laughs> I made a decision, not Isaac Ruto. Isaac Ruto is a real machinani person. Okay? <coughs> now, as I advised in part one, it's very important that you catch uh, my early analysis of the Rift Valley voting patterns because uh, let me just tell you the truth, Isaac Ruto is no angel, okay? Now, and Isaac Ruto was one of the main, main people on the ground in the fateful 2007 elections, yeah? The elections that caused uh, our country bloodshed, yeah? He was one of the people at the forefront of uh, the campaigns on the ground, yeah? And he's the one who drummed up a lot of emotions. He's very good at drumming up emotions and shifting them in the direction he wants. And now he has proved yet again, yeah? Just catch that analysis because what I had said in my first analysis seems to be actually unfolding. And it is unfolding thick and fast, yeah? But on to the current situation. It would seem, according to my information, that this thing of machinani, development in the machinani, is a very powerful tool and is going to be a very powerful tool in these campaigns. Okay? It would seem to me that people on the ground are tired of waiting for development from Nairobi. They are tired of waiting for development from the national government. Yeah? And this idea that Isaac Ruto is selling to the people that is in charge of the wing that is going to deal with uh, devolution and development in the counties if a NASA government is formed is turning out to be extremely powerful on the ground. It seems the Rift Valley is buying it hook, line and sinker. Now I'm not here to analyze whether they'll be able to fulfill that promise and I'm not here to analyze whether it's actually true that uh, funds and uh, resources will be leaving the national government like clockwork going to the counties at high speed if a NASA government takes over tomorrow, I'm not here to analyze that. But what I'm here to analyze is the effect of that idea being sold to voters. And I can tell you categorically, I can tell you without fear that I'm not telling the truth and without hesitation that that thing is working hook, line, and sinker. It is working 1,000%. It is working 10,000% on the ground in the Rift Valley. Now, it is also true on the ground yeah, because uh, it's good to tell you the whole truth and the whole truth without leaving anything out and without looking like you're favoring one side. It is also true on the ground that Rift Valley voters do not want to hear the word ODM. That is extremely true. Because ODM has very bitter memories for them. ODM has very bad, sad memories for them. Because, uh, well, you, you might ask who was the victim here, but that doesn't matter. It has bad memories for them because a lot of uh, young people ended up behind bars. A lot of people died, a lot of people were killed, a lot of people were accused, a lot of people were, a lot of things happened. Nobody has good memories of ODM in the Rift Valley, especially because of 2007. Okay? Now I'm not here to say, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it was ODM's fault, yeah? I'm not saying it was anybody's fault, I'm just telling you the feeling of the voters on the ground. Okay? But this party called Chama Chama Shinani, they are buying it. 
they are buying, they are buying, they are buying. And that is the truth, that is the situation on the ground. Of course, the big question, will this translate into actual presidential votes for the NASA candidate? Well, the answer to that question, to question should be obvious. Because for Isaac Ruto to be able to deliver on his promise, NASA will have to win the elections. It's as simple as that. Okay, so I don't know how they're going to work around this ODM thing. I have no idea. Uh, but I guess they'll just close their eyes and vote CCM and presidential candidate as they go to <laughs> as they go to the ballot box. I have no idea. Okay, because you realize, as I always say, voters are all about emotions. Voters are all about their feelings. And I can tell you, the feeling right now is totally CCM. Okay, as I started, Narok always is Narok. Narok is like uh, the temperature of the Rift Valley. Yeah? If you want to take uh, the, somebody comes in sick, you want to know their condition, you put that thermometer under the armpit. Narok is the armpit of the Rift Valley. Yeah? You put a thermometer there, you know exactly the temperature and the direction of the place. Okay? Now I know this news uh, might, must, must uh, devastate some of us. I know it will delight some of us. But uh, I must add a very big, big, big disclaimer. It is still early. In fact, the campaigns are starting on Sunday. Anything can happen. Politics, my friends, anything can happen. Yeah? And of course, uh, the other side is not taking this lying down. Eh? They'll not just pack up their bags and start packing early. No way. This is politics. They're going to come up with a countermeasure. Yeah? And I can assure you that the Jubilee side will hit back. Yeah? not uh, violently they'll hit back politically very hard yeah so let's wait and see what unfolds in the rift valley let's wait and see what happens but that is the situation currently this is chris kumekucha thank you for your time